Hello, hello my friends. Welcome back to this week's bonus video. This is the next installment in the Shop My Stash featuring fall inspired palettes. I am still going strong with my eyeshadow palette no buy slash low buy. I mentioned in a couple of these videos that the only exception to my low buy slash no buy would be the Danessa Myrigs Lightworks Volume 2 palette during the Sephora VIB sale. So stick around if you want to know if I actually picked that up. For this week's video, I was between doing a look with the Glam Light Chocolate Martini palette, which I have a full review on on my channel, or the Tarte Man Eater After Dark eyeshadow palette. I put a poll on my Instagram stories and the majority of you guys wanted to see this palette, so that's what we're gonna be doing. As you can see, I have my makeup done, so let's dive right in to the demo. I did a full-on review of this palette a couple months ago when it released, so I'll link that somewhere here in the cards if you wanna go check it out. And if you've seen that video, you might recall I mentioned that the shimmer and metallic shades did have some fallout for me. So I'm gonna start off this video with doing my eyes before my complexion so we don't make that mistake again. In that last video, we used more of the mauve tones, if I remember correctly. I've been really wanting to dive into this green shade or into the yellow shade right here, Desire. So let's dip into that yellow shade, Desire. And because that's a lighter yellow shade, I am going to use my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas as my eyeshadow primer just to even out my eyelids. Might have picked up a little too much. Using a primer like this will also help the shade be uh, more true to color to what it is in the pan when I put it on my eyelids since um, I do have veins and darker eyelids. I'm gonna make sure to get this inner corner here where I tend to have some darkness as well. I'm gonna bring it pretty far out and up just because not quite sure how far we're going to take that yellow shade. Okay, now that I have that primer distributed and even out, I'm gonna go in with, um, this is a Morphe E30, kind of fluffier blending brush, and I'm going to dip into this flesh tone shade Charming and apply that right above my crease I think this shade might be a little too close to my skin tone with the primer on to use as a transition, but I'm making up this eye look as we go. So hang in there. So it's not giving me quite the transition that I wanted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, Passion. And I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. I'm gonna switch to this Rosen Ben E28 brush. You guys know this is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna pick up that shade Passion on just the tip of the brush, not too much. And I'm gonna put that right in, right above my crease. Yep, right there. I'm just pressing that shade. I'm keeping it kind of in this outer corner area. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. The next thing I'm gonna do is dip into this shade right here, Temptress. So using that same E28 brush and I'm picking it up on the tip of the brush, about that much. And I'm gonna use that to just give me some dimension here on the crease area a little bit below. So it's kind of on that upper part of my lid where I'm placing it. And you'll see I'm not bringing it really anywhere towards the front. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is just with whatever is on that brush that we use to put the base, I'm just kind of pressing that in. And I'm gonna switch to another uh, E28 brush, same from Rose and Ben, and I'm gonna dip into that yellow shade, the shade Desire, and I'm going to load that up on the side of the brush. 
So there you go. You can see I picked up quite a bit and we are gonna press that onto the lid. Press and pat it. Wow, that's a really vibrant yellow. I think that's one of the most vibrant yellows I've ever, ever used, to be honest. And this is exactly why I decided to use the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas as my primer because not only does it even out my lid, it also, because it's a lighter shade, it'll help the shade pop, the eyeshadow shade pop, and it has more of a tacky consistency, so it'll really help these shadows stick to it. So where I get it to the area where we layered all those like browner colors, I am just tapping over where those would meet. I don't wanna necessarily blend them into each other. I kinda want that um, separation to be a little noticeable. I really like where that yellow shade is at. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the other E28 brush from Rose and Ben and dip into the shade Passion, which was that more warm tone brown. And all I'm gonna do is kind of gently bring it in a little bit. I'm not bringing it in all the way. I'm bringing it, bringing it a little past halfway and just pressing that into the crease see about how far I've gone. Same thing to the other side. And then I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, Alluring, just on the tip of that same brush. And we're gonna use this to deepen the outer corner. So right here is all, it's right where we want it. Connected into the other transition and crease colors. Same thing on the other side. I'm debating if I wanna keep this an all matte look or if I wanna dip into some of these shimmers. I'm really loving the all matte look. So I think I'm actually gonna keep it all matte. If anything, I might add a black liquid liner and then maybe we can use some of these metallic foiled shades for the inner corner highlight. So let me go do the rest of my makeup, clean this up a bit, and then we'll be right back. And I am back with the rest of my makeup done. I decided to keep the look matte. I know I did mention that we'd put one of those shimmer metallic shades as an inner corner highlight, but honestly, I'm really loving how it looks right now. Um, I did add a bronzy toned liner in my waterline. I used the Sephora collection one and then added this really beautiful brown lip. I used Max lip liner in the shade Cork as well as NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. I think this might be the most fall inspired look that I've done so far in this series of Shop My Stash featuring fall palettes. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of this palette. Using this palette for I want to say maybe the fourth, fifth time since I filmed the original video, I am enjoying it more. The eyeshadow, matte shadows blended perfectly. I did not have an issue. I don't remember if we used the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas as a eye primer in the original video. I want to say I used the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, but, but either way, I had no issues blending the mattes. Um, this palette is still available on Tarte's website as well as at Ulta. I believe it's $52. So if you're looking to pick it up or as a gift for someone for the holidays, I do, I recommend it. That's all I have for today's video. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Leila. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you subscribe before you leave. And for all my returning subscribers and viewers, welcome back. Happy to have you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.